Hey everybody, I am coming at you live from my hotel room in New York City for Fashion Week. Uh, a week that I decided today to not really attend anymore because I'm just, it's just not my scene. Uh, I love fashion, I love style, but I don't like all the pomp and circumstance that goes along with it. Uh, when I get dressed, I don't get dressed for anybody else than myself, and so it feels a little weird like, I understand for some people it's a really fun and exciting event and they love having something to dress up for. For me, it's just not my bag. It doesn't make it bad, it just makes it not for me. So one of the things that brought me to New York that I had a super, super fun time doing was this project with MAC Cosmetics. And they sent me home with a whole lot of stuff. And I thought, while I'm waiting for some videos I already made to get approved, which is why there has not been a video on this channel in a little while because I've been waiting for some stuff that I actually need approval to share. It's not necessarily paid work, but it'll make sense when I share it. Um, I figured this would be a good like, pause. This would be like a good carryover. Um, hopefully these things get approved. It's annoying that they're not approved, but it is what it is, what it is, what it is. I can't do anything about it. Uh, this is the problem with my life being slightly more, uh, I don't even know the word for it. Exclusive. Ugh, that sounds gross, but you know what I mean? Like, there's other people in these experiences and I can't share stuff about it until their people say it's okay. Yeah, one of them's, one of them's kind of a celebrity. But, um, yeah. So, stuff is coming. I promise you. I'm not lying. I've, a lot of it I've already done. I'm just <sighs> waiting for approvals, for sign off, all of that fun stuff. Yay. So we'll make do while we can and I'm gonna film some stuff when I get home in, in two days as well. Just to, I just wanna get everything to feel more active again because I feel, I feel like it's dormant and not like I haven't been trying to make it more active. It's just like <sighs> this life. Yeah, you know, ya yeah, know. So let's go through this bag of stuff together. I'm just gonna throw this out there. It might be just me, but I feel like in this shirt, I look like a Victorian baby. <laughs> I mean, I'm not against it. Obviously I bought it, but I feel like a Victorian baby. Like the type of child that like teeths on a like sterling silver thing. I'm a Victorian baby. <laughs> Was that even around a Victorian? I don't even know. Clearly, I've got it all together. You should all be jealous of my immaculate ability to keep my life together. Anyway, so I got this giant bag of stuff from Mac. I'm gonna open it on here with you uh, and just live our best lives. Now, some of it I did open already because um, I have no patience and I wanted to. So this I already opened because I have no patience. It says Mac up here, but you can't really see it. And that says love at first swipe down here, but you can't really see it that well. But when you open it up, it's got all these lipsticks, except this one is missing. Because this shade is my favorite shade. Let me go get it because it's like such a good color. Um, I want to brag on it because I, I really like this color. Obviously, it's missing because I've been using it. So your girl is back with the lipstick. It's called Pure Nonchalance, which I kind of love. And the reason I'm obsessed with this color is I love K-dramas and they always have this pinky purple light shade that is like the perfect pinky purple light shade. I have yet to be able to find it until Pure Nonchalance came about and I'm just gonna show you guys it real quickly. I'm obsessed with it. This is literally my favorite lipstick right now. So that's what goes in this little hole completing the set and uh, I have a lot of lipstick now, in fact 12 new lipsticks, which I feel like I should start doing a series where I just pick a random lipstick out of a bag and create an outfit and a makeup and everything against it because I have so many lipsticks. Could be a thing I do every single day. Underneath it, I've already opened this, is like some stickers posters of the girls in the campaign. I loved this campaign because it was one of the first campaigns to feature like a true plus size woman in it. I can't remember her name, but she's the one with the long nails that says inspirational messages into the camera. I love her, but I can't remember her name right now. And so there's just a lot of fun stuff down here. There's even like a little mirror. 
It's a cute little like set of the collection. So what happened is, is they put a gift in our room for every day we worked on the campaign. There were two videos we were doing for TikTok, some Instagram stories, and we went to a runway show. So every day that we were in the hotel, Mac gave us a little gift. So this was the first night we were in the hotel. This is the gift we got. The second night we were in the hotel, we got a bag. Also, this was in this giant Mac tote, which I actually love because I need like a big tote. I have lots of, you know, like demure totes, but I want like a tote. The second night we were there, we got this bag full of all kinds of goodies. And uh, you can see actually this is the room that they had to deliver it to. Not in that room anymore, so good luck. First of all, I, I just like the bag in general. It's a really good size. So in here, there's some makeup wipes. We've got some of their Dazzle highlighter, which I actually don't know what color this is. I haven't used Max highlighter. I've used their powder like every single day of my life, but I have not used their highlight. So this will be new for me. Let's look at the color. Oh my gosh, that color is great. It's a rose gold color. So that's my jam. I love me some rose gold highlight. So that's freaking fantastic. This is Dazzle highlighter. I guess it doesn't have a color name. Oh, it's called dazzle pink then we have some different eyeshadow colors we have uh, sandstone which is a brown we've got uh, this lovely peach color which is called coral reef I use this on my eyes during curvy con and it was it just looked fantastic it is a bolder shade I thought it would be very demure it's not and then like a flat black which I think everyone should have and this is called carbon now, also in the bag was some setting spray, um, a lip gloss, and I think this is just their plumping, yeah, it's their plenty of pout plumping lip gloss, just in like kind of a light pinky color, pretty much can go over everything. And then, what else right here, this is another lip, this is lip glass. And this is, I love the name of it because it's called Heart Melter. And it's like, look how cute it is in the bottle, right? That's some cute-ish. I will tell you, there's some sparkly products coming out of MAC, I think in like October or November for holiday that I will find a way to get in my hands. If I have to like literally stand outside a MAC store and cry and beg, I will get those products because they were so magically sparkly i'm putting a picture to the right just so you can like understand my obsession also then we got a really um more like pinky or even slightly purpley red called framboise moi i learned how to say framboise because my best friend is a french teacher also in this bag i have put two things i did not get in the bag but i actually got when they were doing my makeup which we'll talk about in a little bit, which is a uh, mascara, which is really awesome. This is just their standard extreme false lashes. And then some like cream eyeliner in called Dip Down. It's their fluid liner. So part of this whole process was like the first day we went to this runway show and we filmed like a whole bunch of stuff. You can see some of the clips from what we did. It was the V-File show, which was really cool because I got to see Erica Jane, who I'm obsessed with, perform. Rico Nasty and a couple other like amazing artists perform. Also with, you know, a runway show going on kind of they would perform, they'd be run a show, and then they would perform again. Um, we also got to go backstage. We got to see the MAC team doing the makeup. We also got to see all the costume changes. We got to see the MAC team uh, <laughs> put makeup on a girl's booty because she got a bug bite. Cause she, and she was an assless chap. <laughs> so I can't make this stuff up. Um, but it was a really, really cool experience. I have been backstage before, but not at a show like this and not with the brand itself. So it was really cool to kind of see the whole experience. So we made a video of being behind the scenes, which is this video. And then the second video was like a transformation video. So obviously like it had been raining and I hadn't done my makeup and I was, had been at Kirby Con all day. So I literally looked a mess. So I just filmed myself before as a mess and I transformed into a pinup girl. Now what was really cool about this is I tried a lace font wig for the first time. Um, now I'm obsessed. And then also I had the ability to have a Mac master artist do my makeup. 
Uh, I had a man uh, named Gregory who I fell in love with. <laughs> this is like literally my makeup soulmate. He does the makeup for Dita Von Teese and Gwen Stefani. <laughs> so like, whoa. And he just gave me the most perfect pinup look and the experience of just feeling just so magical. It was just such a magical experience. I know how to do my makeup. Am I perfect? No. But I like generally know how to do it, but this was this was above and beyond anything I've ever experienced makeup wise. And then also just getting to know someone that's just such a genuinely good person. It made me fall in love with Max so much more. He's like the head of Max. I should look up what his title is so I don't screw it up. One sec. We've also been sending each other messages on Instagram because he is not getting me out of his life. I will stalk you, Gregory. He is the director of makeup artistry at MAC. He's fantastic. Like, he's a magical unicorn of happiness that I need to have in my life. Hence why I'm stalking him. He seems to be okay with it thus far, so let's hope. Let's hope we can keep the friendship because I'm seriously obsessed with him. When they were doing our hair makeup, they had some items from the v -File show that we got to take home and keep. So I took this sweet hat. What? What? Who's that cool girl? That cool girl's me. <laughs> I will probably wear this, but not in a way that's cool girl. Also, why did my hair just like five seconds of having a hat on? And this was my hair response. <laughs> like, come on. Get it together. So... On the last day, as we were leaving, we got one more thing from Mac. It's quite large. <laughs> it's, it's really large, actually. It's this um, Max Studio Fix thing. <laughs> it's a giant tube. I have a giant tube. So this comes off. And it's the Studio Fix Soft Matte Foundation Stick. And this is... I can get it out there. A sample of that. And I believe this is in, yeah, this looks like my color. This is actually the color I wore in the Pinup Girl Transformation, which was honestly the best makeup I've ever had on my face. It felt fantastic, it looked amazing. Part of that was, the product was amazing. Part of that was I had like a literal makeup god doing my makeup. Um, okay, and then it says lift up for more looks right there. A little prompt. And I'm, I will lift up. So in here, so this is just like, I can just pound stuff with that. In here is another sample. This is other colors of the foundation kit. Oh, there's a lot of them in here. This is the, it's the mother load. So we've got a couple more versions of that um, studio stick. We've got some ooh, really pretty purple shiny foil eyeshadow. I don't know what that is, but I'm into it. We have some powder. This is what I use, guys. This is my jam. This is what I use every day anyway, so I just got out of having to replace it. Then we have uh, some Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. We've got some in a couple different colors. These are all like this, oh, they're both. Yeah, so they gave me like, um, because my skin tone is like almost in the middle, but I a lot of times have to mix, so they gave me both tones. They gave me a sweet, sweet stippling brush. We got another brush, brushing it out. More powder, seriously. The gratitude I have for not having to buy powder again. Oh, so magical. And then that that's it, it's over! So basically like, oh and there's some more lipstick. This is a lipstick. It's a powder kiss lipstick in sexy but sweet. Oh, I love a good named lipstick. I don't have to hold this anymore so I don't know why I am. Let's open it up. Oh, that's a really good color. That's a really good color. I look like I need some makeup because I just got up close and it looked like <sighs> I've come from the TV to steal your soul because it's like the way the light is and everything else. Apparently, I'm also Irish. The light has made me like very washed out <laughs> when I get close. 
Don't go to sleep tonight. I will get ya. So that is, <laughs> that is what I got in my bag of mac goodies. I'm very excited to go home and try all of this out. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It was a magical, fun, amazing experience, and I am so, so grateful I got to have it. Actually, tender-hearted moment here. This is like, you make kind of like, as a creator, you think, what are the brands I someday dream of working with and I hope I can work with? And Mac was like, top of the stars for me. And this year, I've worked with two of the brands on my list, which I cannot believe. Uh, Target doing the campaign for the 20 years of, of style and Mac doing this amazing campaign for Fashion Week and being a Fashion Week VIP. What? Uh, just really, it's, it's, this year is insane and I like, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry a little bit. As crazy and as stressful and as weird and as wild as it has been, um, I am totally and incredibly grateful and I can't believe all of these things have happened to me. Um, I struggle a lot because I don't feel like I'm worth it. <laughs> I'd be like, wow, why is all this crazy cool stuff happening to me? And so I just keep trying to be the best person I can be so that I don't let those feelings of not being worthy come in because I am worthy. I've worked hard and I've um, fought for the change that led to me being able to do these campaigns. But still that little bit of imposter syndrome gets ya, gets ya hard. And I'm learning how to, to cope with that, but this was another major life goal like crossed off my list and I feel like I couldn't have had a better experience. And it's kind of ironic that I unboxed all this makeup without any makeup on, but you know, what's the point? I put on a bunch of makeup just to like lay down and take a nap because because uh, that's what's going to happen after this. I'm going to edit this video, put it up, and go to bed. <laughs> so what's the point? What's the point of getting ready? There's no point. So, <laughs> keeping it real. So I hope you guys had an amazing rest of your day. Uh, I linked down to some of the MAC products down below. If you have any questions, I will be doing some looks with this in the future, just so you guys can see how it all works out. And with that, I will check you guys later. Have an amazing rest of your day, and peace.